Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Vegetables West Magazine, reporting to you from Tulare County, where the annual Garlic and Onion Research Symposium was held. Growers and PCAs in attendance today got to gain updates on the latest research efforts to improve control and management of pests and diseases in the field. One of the speakers today was Mary Ruth McDonald. She traveled all the way from Canada to share some important research updates on controlling stem and bulb nematode in the field. When there's a lot of nematodes in the garlic, of course, they can completely kill the plants and destroy yield. The stem and bulb nematode is a serious pest of garlic. Uh, in Canada, it's probably the major limiting factor to garlic production. And it has been a very serious pest in California and other places where garlic's grown in the United States. Uh, the main problem is that it infects the uh, cloves that are used as seed, and when there's only a light infection, uh, you can't see any visible symptoms. So you have to actually send the garlic to a lab to determine that it's infected. But when the garlic's heavily infected, it can actually kill plants and completely destroy the bulb. Uh, so, um, if growers aren't aware of this problem, they could be using planting material that's infected with the nematode. And um, that has happened in the past in Ontario and other places where garlic is grown, uh, sometimes with very devastating results. So it's important to control this pest and uh, grow clean seed wherever possible. The research I've been doing has been to evaluate treatments for the cloves prior to planting. Um, we've also evaluated a number of other uh, treatments, uh, putting a product in the um, uh, seed furrow before it's closed, um, spraying uh, some products on the garlic as it's emerging. Um, one product, Movento, is an insecticide, but also an nematicide, when you spread on the leaves, it's supposed to be translocated down to the uh, base of the plant. The products that were most effective in our trials were uh, applied as, as seed soaks of the cloves. So they were soaked for four hours prior to planting. And those products were Agrimac, which is registered on garlic, but not for this use and a new product called Vellum Prime, which is not registered yet. Uh, when we had a relatively low infestation, but still fairly high, so 380 nematodes per gram of dried clove, um, the Agrimac and the Vellum Prime uh, worked very well, and yields were the same as using uh, clean seed derived from tissue culture. When we had higher infestation, the Vellum Prime was actually more effective than the Agrimac. Um, so the Vellum Prime is definitely a very promising material for control of bulb and stem nematode, but it's not yet registered, so that's, that's the next step. Um, certainly if growers can access nematode-free seed, whether it's from tissue culture or just from a reputable grower, uh, that's really important. That's the best approach, but um, in uh, Canada, nematode-free seed is um, very hard to uh, obtain. Uh, crop rotation is a good thing for a lot of reasons, but can also be very effective for reducing uh, or controlling bulb and stem nematode if it's already in the soil. Um, so crop rotation, of course, tends to increase yields even in the absence of a pest, but um, it uh, can be very effective for nematode control. The interesting thing about uh, the Vellum Prime, the active ingredient is fluopyram, and it was originally registered as a fungicide uh, called Luna, and it's uh, sold in combination with a number of un other fungicides, one of them's Luna Tranquility. Um, so this fungicide has uh, received a registration already in New Zealand for white rot control. Um, so it would be very exciting if we had one product that could actually control the nematode and control white rot and 
which are the two biggest problems in garlic production in many parts of the world. Stay current on how to improve your pest management practices by reading Vegetables West magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.